are approaching another World Cup and obviously people are getting around to you know everybody's having their favorites everybody's having their bets England supporters will get carried away the usual euphoria that it's just a question of us turning up to win it um, which never seems to work out um, yeah England England will have a chance but I think mainly this year because um, there, for me there are no great really great sides in the world at the moment um, probably your best two teams in the world on, on form are Spain of course Spain had a great European uh, championship a couple of years ago and you know they've retained mo virtually all the players from that including a lot of members of the successful uh, Barcelona team uh, Iniesta and Yavi Yavi and people like that of course Torres and Villa up front so they, they're going to be a well-rated side, but somehow, although I tipped them to win the European Championship two years ago, I just don't think, I think they're going to fall short in this tournament. Then you talk about Brazil, Brazil always will always be a threat any, in any major tournament. And uh, Dunga has obviously gone for a, a pragmatic approach. Um, the very fact he's left Ronaldinho out the side, and uh, well, Adriano, I, I don't think it's worth his place anyway. But he's left Ronaldinho out, and what he's basically saying is, um, the most important thing is that everybody performs for the team and they will be a threat I mean they will have good players obviously the the players are the icing on the cake players the likes of Kaka and people like that they provide the flair uh, Robinho um, although I'm never I've never been his biggest admirer but he can when the game's going well for them he can turn it on my own particular fancy is this time um, first of all I think Holland have a very good chance you know, Holland have obviously got um, they've got natural associations uh, with South Africa, so they're going to they're going to be well supported in South Africa, and I think they've got a lot of very good players, and they've had a good team, and they don't uh, the manager doesn't change the team an awful lot. They've got a very strong side, strong enough to to the extent they can leave uh, Ruud van Nistelrooy out of it, and if if Van Persie and Robben stay fit and Snyder produce, uh, produces the sort of form he's shown for Inter Milan then I think they're one to watch the other one I've got a strong fancy for apart from one specific reason I like Argentina's chances I mean obviously people say yeah they've got Messi obviously they've got Messi Iguan, Tevez, Milito, um, Mascherano we know of Good defensive players like Samuel, who's had a great season for Inter Milan. The only thing that would puzzle me at all is the manager. I'm not sure about. I I, I could see him turning up for a game and not playing a goalkeeper. I mean, he, he is a little bit off the wall. In fact, he's got to be that much off the wall that he, if he can afford to leave the likes of Cambiasso and Zanetti out of his team, he's either potty or he must have some great great players in there in as replacements for them. I don't think there's. A, I don't think you can afford to leave the quality and experience of those type of players who've been bang on form this season. So the, that's the slight re, or the big reservation I would have about Argentina, the manager.